first of all, um, thanks everyone for coming in here this morning, in the last day of the conference, and after the, the dinner last night. Um, I'd like to thank um, uh, the chamber, uh, Anthony and, and Pansy and the team, they've done a fantastic job. Seems to be improving every year for the last couple of years, so um, kudos to the team. And also I'd like to thank um, all the sponsors of, of the conference. Um, hopefully Kina will, will sponsor next year, I don't know. Um, uh, and also, um, I'd like to thank my final panelists um, for coming in and, and being part of the discussion. Uh, my name's Rope Uyasi. I'm the new um, CEO for Kinebank PNG. And um, just by way of clarification, I have my, my regulator here, so you might be a little bit confused. So uh, I haven't replaced Greg. Greg is still there. Um, he's the Kina Securities Limited CEO. I'm the Kinebank PNG CEO. And I'm focused on the, on the bank in, in PNG. Um, while Greg um, maintains the overall group focus. Um, clicker. Um, I noticed I have the uh, ready for the boom, which is exactly the same as um, the BSB one, but I think um, me and um, Daniel went to the same uni, so I think we, we think alike there. And, um, oh, sorry, I'll just go back. So a little bit about Kina. Um, we're also a, a PNG company. Um, <laughs> Born and bred, um, we've obviously our genesis is a little slightly different from that of um, um, the other uh, PNG born and bred bank, uh, long established PNG born and bred bank, which is BSB. We um, came out of a finance company um, in the 80s, and we 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 grew into um, what is uh, through a combination of organic and and inorganic, inorganic growth, um, most uh, notably the the purchase of the ANZ retail operations um, uh, about five, five years ago. Um, we've become the second largest um, presence, banking presence in the, in the country. And um, we're listed on, as a, on the ASX under PNGX under the ticker KSL. And um, we are the leading digital bank in PNG. Um, uh, a lot of our, um, our reach into the the community, both in the corporate and, and retail space, is um, digitally aimed and, and directed. We also happen to be the largest fund manager um, in PNG, um, managing the, uh, primarily the super funds, and um, which positions us in a, in, a, in a very interesting space in terms of um, having a, um, um, an, a purview or an overview over the um, the capital markets in PNG. Our vision is to be the most dynamic, progressive, and accessible finance financial services company in, in Papua New Guinea. And um, you'll see in the preceding slides that um, um, we're certainly um, on the way there in carrying out our vision. The slide basically um, gives you a, an overview of our strategy. We, we have a strategy going from 2000 20 to 2025, um, uh, you, you'll see 2020 and 21, we started out at, um, uh, our starting point was a, very much a, a traditional bricks and mortar uh, banking operation um, with a little bit of digital um, presence. And um, we, we certainly um, wanted to, while maintaining that, wanted to grow and evolve into a, a more innovative and uh, more into the digital space. Um, so in the, in the current year, 2023, we're in the middle of the second phase there, where we've um, added, uh, uh, gone into more of the investment banking and the partnership platform. Um, if any of you were paying attention last week, we, we along with the Deputy Prime Minister, we launched um, new pays and the lands departments, uh, digital uh, e-lands kiosks, which is basically key now providing a, a back-end support in the internet um, payment gateway um, for New Power to partner with um, the Department of Lands in their um, receipt or, and processing of land, land rates, um, land title um, payments, etc. Uh, so that's definitely one of the, the big things that Kina um, is looking at and in to, to help government departments with their um, payment solutions and also their reporting, internal um, reporting requirements. 
um, and and that's growing. Uh, we're very pleased with that growth. They they're looking at um, IRC and and um, uh, who's the other one? That, they've also been doing the the immigration departments, all the the visa payments that you can do online. Um, Keen is part of that picture at the back end. Um, in 2025. Uh, our vision is to be a 100% online bank. Um, that is certainly the vision, and we are working towards that. Um, we recognize that in PNG, um, you know, online person-to-person -person, um, presence is, is is very important. Um, but there are spaces where, um, in PNG, but also in regionally, um, where we're looking at being having a 100% digital presence, and it's already happening in other parts of the world, and and and. And Kine wants to be part of that and be a Papua New Guinea business that's part of that. Oh, sorry, I went back. Go forward. Okay, so just a little bit of a, uh, a little bit more about T, uh, Kina's digital banking. So what is it about? It's about improving uh, the convenience and supporting our customers, um, improving the convenience to our customers and their ability to undertake transactions, uh, look at their, their finances, understand where they, they're sitting, and, and also um, you know, p paying their bills, etc. That's where we want to place ourselves. Um, in the boom that's coming along, uh, we anticipate that um, a lot of the international businesses that come in already have um, strong digital presence, and we'd like to provide that when they come into to Papua New Guinea. Um, and then also we'd like to onboard our local Papua New Guinean business onto that, that platform so that um, uh, they're able to execute uh, on their business requirements, not just in Port Moresby, not just in Leh. Um, they're able to do banking in Kerama, in, uh, in Tari, and wherever the resources operations are and where they are, they don't have to visit a branch to do banking. They can do it on their phone. Um, or you know, laptop, whatever. As long as they have access to the internet, they can do banking, and that's our aim. Some, a couple of the highlights there. You'll note the digital transactions and revenue growth. It's been very significant for Kina. Um, I won't give you the numbers, but I can tell you that it's material, um, and it's in the millions. Um, we've had a fantastic growth in our digital, which which is obviously good for our business, but it also tells us that there is a market there and there's a need in the market that we're serving. Um, the, the other logos on the side are some of our key partners and some of the, the key products that we're, we've rolled out in the digital space. You'll note the Kina WhatsApp banking. Um, a lot of our customers are very complimentary about just the simple thing of having a WhatsApp message come in when there's been a transaction on, the, on their account. Um, very simple, but very useful for everyone. Um, and you can also do simple uh, basic uh, account balances, etc., over WhatsApp. Um, and I believe we're the only bank in PNG does that. Uh, NewPay, as I've just mentioned, we've uh, NewPay and SNS Tech are partners in in um, in our, um, I guess, support of efforts to to get um, more productivity and more accountability and more um, uh, convenience for payments, especially in, in, in processes, uh, government processes, government payments, um, uh, and reporting as well. And we're part of that picture. Uh, we might not be as visible as our partners there, but we're certainly at the back end, and it's, um, uh, we really believe in that one. Pay Better has also been, been launched, and uh, you can Anyone with any, uh, any, no matter where they bank, can be do payments through Pay Better, and um, we're growing that, and we'll be getting more, um, more, more clients uh, onto that platform so that you can pay your bills with uh, PNG Power, Water PNG, uh, anyone else through Pay Better, no matter who you bank with, for free. Um, obviously, uh, many of you who bank with us know that uh, you can uh, view your superannuation um, account balances uh, live on our, on our when you're bank uh, when you're on our online banking platform. Um, and I mean that's part of the just knowing your financial position better. Um, 
a lot of uh, Papua New Guinea's wealth is either their super or property. Um, and obviously, um, we, we'd like to um, help them to be more financially aware of the situation or their status. Zero uh, is, is a well-known um, online cloud accounting software firm out of New Zealand, but a global operation. Uh, we've partnered with them and we've got a Kina Zero bank feed um, that SMEs or any business actually um, can now, when they onto our, when they're onboarded onto our online banking, they can um, open up a feed where all the banking transactions are, are fed through the Zero accounting platform, and they can come up with their accounts pretty much live, whenever they can generate accounts whenever they want, um, which will be very useful, especially for um, uh, small to medium-sized businesses in PNG um, in the resources space. They Reporting is a is a very um, financial reporting is a is a key part of um, a local SMEs being able to attract financing and also participate in projects. Uh, wealth. Some of you may have seen um, a recent announcement that PNG Kina Bank uh, invested in in um, Australia's second largest um, uh, online lender. And um, we were a key financier of, of their purchase of another um, onla online mortgage broker um, who has over a billion dollars in mortgage mortgages in Australia. And that demonstrates our, obviously what I talked earlier about our future strategy to get into the, more of the digital space, not just in PNG, but in the region. DigiBanker is something that I will be very pleased to talk more about in the next week or so. Uh, we'll be launching, it's basically uh, solves a lot of my, personally, my headaches, uh, where um, we'll be doing 100% online um, uh, e, uh, which I would say, e-onboarding, so you don't have to go to a bank, to bank, banking branch to uh, um, open an account, you can do it on your phone. Um, and that's available in other markets, but this, I believe this will be the first time it's, it'll be available in PNG, and we have we will be launching it shortly. So I don't have to stand in line in Waigani or Cameron Road, etc. cetera. Um, the other one is Absilon IXSeed, which is uh, also similar to, to, to DigiBanker, but for the corporate customers, and that's what we'll be rolling out in 2024. Now, obviously, I'm talking a lot about the digital aspect of our business, um, but we still have a uh, bricks and mortar traditional bank, and we're still um, executing on, on that aspect of our business, and we're still reaching out to customers person to person. Um, some of the highlights included digital hubs um, that we're rolling out in Port Moresby and Lay, which will give us a, a, a much more comfortable surrounds for some of our customers to come and onboard themselves in person, those that don't want to do it online. And we recently launched the Red Thunders, although they've been operating for a few months in around Port Moresby. Um, they've been visiting our customers at their work sites and um, helping them to onboard and, and also responding to their queries. Out further afield in the, in, in the provinces, away from Port Moresby and Leigh, we, um, we have a partnership. We have a 15% stake in, in uh, my bank. And we believe that that partnership is primed to, to address some of the, um, uh, the gaps in our service offerings in the, in the provinces, especially out in more uh, locations like Popandera, Boca, which are in, uh, in the pipeline for us. And um, certainly I'll be, uh, in the coming year, I'll be traveling around to look at opportunities where we can, we can expand that. that. And we think uh, my bank is the, um, the probably the, the best placed um, operation to, um, to reach out to our customers in those areas of the country. Um, we are upgrading our customer service center. Um, obviously with this year we've had a, a bit of a deluge of, of customers coming to us and we, uh, we've um, definitely looked at um, um, some of our back, back office, so we're investing quite a bit into upgrading and improving those uh, those back-end services. Um, also, we've, we've got a, a Kina private business centers uh, that are directed at, at um, 
um, a clientele, a specialised clientele, high, high net worth individuals who, who want to who want to um, have a more customised banking experience, and um, that's been very successful um, as um, as if, uh, individuals or families have taken that up. So, what are the growth opportunities for us in in the boom? Um, well. We've got improving infrastructure, especially in the communications, that supports our strategy. Um, the increasing use of low orbit satellites, um, that will enable our, our services to, to reach a lot of uh, the project areas um, that are not hooked up to traditional infrastructure. I think that's a, that's a big opportunity for us in our strategy. And um, we look forward to um, to engaging um, or looking at opportunities, especially around the project areas in the future. Um, we've got an increasingly tech-savvy population. I'd like to, I like to, you know, when people are a little bit um, doubtful about the uptake of digital in, in around PNG, I, I say, look, I've got relatives in the village who've got Facebook accounts. If they can open a Facebook account, they can do digital banking. So, you know, I think there's a big potential for us. Um, growing middle class, obviously, uh, people with a little bit more disposable income, they demand a little bit more from their banks and um, from all of us, we, you know, we're tasked to deliver on that um, and um, that's, a, that's a growth opportunity. Um, for local businesses to fully participate in, in resource projects, um, coming out of our experience in, in um, PNG LNG, um, we were, there was a sense that we were not ready. In, in many aspects of the project, and certainly in, in being having our SMEs and medium-sized enterprises being ready to participate fully and engage, um, I think we can certainly provide in our way, uh, in our strategy, in our digital strategy, we can um, play a part in supporting them and having that deeper relationship, helping helping them with um, um, with their ability to provide the appropriate information to to project operators. Um, to give them the comfort to engage with them. Um, international partners want to come in and have an, have an easy experience. Um, they don't really want to come in and have to jump through a lot of red tape and that's where we see the opportunity for in the, in the, in the digital space. Um, and also in, in, in providing uh, services like Kina, Kina Private um, and also more customized corporate experience at our, at our um, business centers. Um, and also, uh, again, going back to uh, what we're doing with new pay and launching, there's an increasing awareness that um, digital uh, the solutions can really solve some of the ongoing concerns we have around, um, uh, you know, leaks in in the, in the in the government payment system, etc. And um, certainly, we uh, we see that as a big big opportunity for us. Now, there are opportunities, but there are also the threats um, to talk about. Obviously, the bank tax is an obvious one. Um, it's, look, um, we are tasked to, to solve a lot of the issues um, for financial inclusion, et cetera, as an industry. And, um, and however, we, and we heavily regulated and we face the same, um, same uh, I guess the uh, business environment is other business um, on, t on top of the regulatory overlay. Um, and we're not exposed to, um, directly ex exposed to uh, commodity cycles, et cetera, that, that result in super profits, et cetera, that would justify these things. So, I mean, uh, um, that's something that um, Keener is concerned about, and I'm sure my colleague banks are concerned about as well going forward. And it puts a real damper on our investment, um, investment making decisions. Forex continues to be a challenge, uh, and it's uh, with the governor here. It's just an observation. I'm not offering up any solutions or anything, but it continues to be a challenge. And I'm hoping that we can we can reach a balance somewhere soon, where um, um, it can open up trade and and result in um, greater uh, multiplier effects on the chain. Uh, inflation, uh, if it's stays at 5%, 6%, and it has a real effect on um, yep, take home pay for our citizens, but also um, return on investment for, for businesses. Um, and the resource project delays, uh, we, 
we do as a, as a country, we do really need um, the short-term kicker of the resource projects. Um, but I'd make that observation that um, while we that kicker will come and we're all getting ready for the boom, we really need to do the, the adjustments, the structural adjustments needed in our economy to, to have a more sustainable um, economy that's less dependent on, on resource projects in the long term. And I think that's it. Thank you very much.